Good morning, folks. We've got major weather events and top science news, including a bombshell in the Earth catastrophe cycle. We're starting with our star over at spaceweathernews.com. Finding the last day was very quiet. No sunspots at the bright umbral fields. Plasma filament activity has diminished. Coronal holes turning through. Solar wind eased up a bit. Middle panel in purple. Plasma speed is declining. We could have more coronal hole stream intensifications due to continued openings in the coronal field. They have yet to materialize as of this morning. Let's go to GO-16, best weather satellite at Earth. A strong system charged through the east with its convergence tail driving a hard line of storms through the Gulf states here. But it's not until you pull the lightning overlays that the power of the storm can be truly appreciated. Epilepsy warning here. We see both the enduring cloud flashing that denotes the cloud lines and the intercloud flashes that span vast distances and create the aesthetic sequence. On the ground, however, not so aesthetic. Many tornadoes confirmed in Alabama and Georgia yesterday afternoon and into the evening. More than 20 people are confirmed dead, and the footage of the aftermath really shows why. Spot of good news is that the system did charge out overnight, will not hit these regions again. Because sadly something else is creeping into the United States, this March cold snap is going to dwarf what we got in February, so hold on to your hats here. Also getting more news on that situation in Pakistan we reported yesterday. The deadly flooding from the storm spans across Afghanistan and into Iran as well. Okay, so we've got two big stories in science today. The first, a very plasma universe solar dynamo model as opposed to archive preprint hypothesis papers. This one is going to ANA one of the biggest, and declares that the entire energy for the solar dynamo can be found in the photosphere up through the corona. No deep internal workings are required for energy input into the corona. And now for the big story. Do you know this man? It's the only photo I can find of Professor Gregory Riskin, Northwestern University, genius, academic, catastrophist. In a paper that will appear in Reports on Progress in Physics, the professor declares that three items on this planet come in cataclysmic cycles, changes in sea level, magnetic reversals, and mass extinction. He recognizes that the mechanism can be fast, not the thousands of years we hear about from some sources. In his mind, the source cannot be astronomical because of the energies involved and the cyclical nature of the catastrophe, which he does not see as being possible by any means other than something internal to Earth. Whatever it is, must be capable of flipping Earth's magnetic field and massively changing sea levels. And he reiterates, it is a nearly instantaneous event in geologic terms, one that creates mega tsunamis, wipes clean much of the life on both the surface and in the ocean. And he also states that Earth's magnetic field must be generated not in the core of the Earth, but in the lithosphere itself, our outer shell. So let's jump to his conclusion which is that massive methane stores in the crust undergo explosive releases that destroy the ocean, send tsunamis across the world, flip the magnetization of the crust, and kill the planet. As observers, we must take a few things from this. First, it is yet another hypothesis on mechanistic action, although I'm not sure the methane idea couldn't be caused by something like the sun or galactic wave that kind of makes sense that it's actually possible that way too. Second, the idea that it must be internal to Earth due to the energies involved and the cyclical nature does indeed fall short of recognizing super flare and micronova potential, not to mention Birkeland currents in space, which could deliver such energies. And perhaps, if I may, the concept that the Sun could not have such a cycle when we see nothing but cycles of activity on the Sun is a stretch I could not make right now, especially when we just learned of a simple way to flip the magnetization of a material apply the right electric current. We greatly appreciate your support. Website members, your planetary geometry for the month is posted to the deeper look section. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.